Hello, this is the Web Geek with the CTC Productions. I'm going to teach you guys how to make a fake virus message. This is totally harmless unless you change it to the point where it becomes harm, uh, harmful by adding it with a real virus. Well, this is how it's going to look when we're done. Well, it's going to look something like this, but I'm going to change it up. It's only going to show it once because if I didn't really, I just did like a little demo uh, to start up just to show something. But it's going to look a little bit different. And then it says, uh, your computer is infected with a dangerous hijacking.tool virus and keylogging.tool virus. System restore is advised. Would you like to do a system restore now? And it's saying the message is from Windows Defender. But if you look at this right here, it's showing that it's not from Windows Defender. Obviously, it's showing that it's a VBS tool. VBS is Visual Basics, just to let you guys know. So you click yes or no, which is going to take it away. Just for the fun of it, I'll click yes. Okay, let's get started. Uh, you guys have to make a new notepad. Start up a new notepad. Then in the notepad, ironically, you type in LOL equals message box. That little sign, whatever it's called. Then type in your message. Let's say we're going to say your... How do I keep doing this? Your windows is infected with... A dangerous Trojan Trojan dot hijacker dot LOL virus would you like to do a system restore now since we're done with the message we have to add the closing uh, the closing thingies and then we have to add a 20 we have to add a uh, man, I'm losing my words today. Just uh, do what you see here. I'll put one of these in the what's it called in the description box, so you guys can really see what I did. We're gonna do like a reply and answer. So then you would put in, uh, then you would do this again. Put that in parent. I think it, yeah, parentheses and type in Windows Defender. Or you can basically type in whatever you want, but I'm going to use Windows Defender because gener generally all windows come with Windows Defender to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then you put in the end in quotes and then the closing brackets, whatever it's called. Then you click. Hold on. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's say they click yes or no. Let's type in uh, L O. Let's do this again. L O L equals message box then uh to do those signs again and then for the uh, reply we will say windows has failed to delete the virus your computer is hijacked have a nice day you can do that and let's add it is have a nice day it is not recoverable or let's use it's recoverable then ended up with this that and a little bit of this and then uh, we type in Windows Defender then close it up so now we have all this now we're, what we're gonna do is uh, we're not gonna copy this a second well let's do that once we'll edit select all right click copy or you can use the shortcut control C let me use that and then you can use a shortcut control P to paste or I mean control V control P is to print. So enter, paste, enter, paste, enter, paste, enter, paste, enter, paste, enter, paste, enter, paste. You get the point. Let's do it a couple more times. There's a reason why we're rewriting the message all over again. Keep doing this for a couple more seconds. These are totally harmless. It's not really a virus. It's just what virus, real viruses come with. And then uh, let's do it one more time. And then we're going to copy the last line and edit it.
This is totally optional. Hold on, let me undo that. There we go. Copy the last line and paste it all over again. What we're gonna change the message this time to you have been pranked by been pranked by put your name here. Uh, let's say the web geek. What I forgot to do, I just noticed my mistake. I forgot, or no, I didn't forget it. Yeah, okay, I just forgot to do it in this one. Or did I? No, I didn't. Okay. I erased everything by mistake. I wanted to keep a piece of it. Next. Since this is illegal to put on the web, I will not be put I will not be uh what's it called? Be putting it where you can download it, but I'll give you guys the codes. I think I did it right. Yeah, it looks right. You've been pranked by the web geek. Then let's put this to 25 or 29 to show OK. And then file. Save as. Then uh, desktop internet explorer. E-X-P-L-O-R. -E. I cannot spell today. Internet explorer. Dot. VBS. Since I have one of them already, I'm going to change this to Internet Explorer 1. And change this down here. Save uh, save all files types to all files. Then click save. If you don't do that, it's going to uh, save your extension as a text. Then you can close this out and go for a test drive. It will look like mm. this. Your Windows is infected with a da dangerous Trojan that hijacked your LOL virus. Would you like to do a system restore now? If you click yes, uh, I forgot to change this to 20, but they will just keep clicking. If you notice, at any time, you could have stopped with this tutorial. That's what's good about this tutorial. You can stop at any time. And it's really harmless. I'm trying to show the last message. If you need any help with this, just message me and I'll help you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. This has been the Web Geeks, and I'm waiting for my last message. You've been pranked by the you've been pranked by the Web Geek, and then you click OK. It's done. It's a really harmless one, unless you turn it to be har I mean, really harmful. Also, what you can do is I'm not sure if I can do this, but uh, you can change the icon of the thing here. You could probably get like a fake icon of Internet Explorer online and change it. But you would need a software because I don't think you can change it since it's a VBS file. Let me see. Yeah, you can't change it. If you download a software, you can change the Internet Explorer icon. Get rid of the old one and, pay, and just play a perfect prank. Alright, have a good day.